I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. Meow. Tip me over and pull me out. <laughs> Don't worry, YouTube. I assure you I haven't lost my mind. There is some sense to what you just saw. We're going to be talking a little bit about one of the most crucial components that I learned from a lesson with Kurt, my coach, and how it dramatically has improved my golf swing. Two words, side bend and K-Vest. Let's do it right now. Thank you for checking out my video today. My name is Kenny. Some of you may know me as Kenny Cat. I am an amateur golfer, and this channel is dedicated to showing my journey on becoming a better competitive golfer. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do. I upload content every single week. If you are a returning subscriber to the channel, thank you very much for your support. I greatly appreciate it, and welcome back. So the lesson that I recently had with Kurt is building upon the fundamental blocks of what we have been working on for my entire, I guess you want to say year with him? So what I've been working on with Kurt in this lesson is the K-Vest. Now for those of you who don't have K-Vest or have never used K-Vest, it's basically 3D motion sensor captures. It's got a sensor that goes on your pelvis, a sensor that goes on your wrist, and a sensor that goes on your chest to basically give a three-dimensional image of what's happening as you are rotating throughout the swing. The good thing about K-Vest, which you'll see in the video, is it gives audible feedback uh, for when you're in a good position. So you'll see in the video, as I go into certain takeaways or certain you know, back turn positions, there'll be a little buzz. That's one of the things I really like about the K-Vest. It gives you an audible feedback for when you're getting into a really good position. And if you haven't used 3D Motion or K-Vest or any type of thing like that, if you have the ability to do so, I would strongly recommend that you seek out a coach or an instructor that has it. It's a super informative process that can really help you understand what's going on with your body during the swing. Let's take a look at that video right now. You like my new little gimbal? Dude, that thing's so sick. My roommate's got one. We're going to get some good stuff going. All right, let's get through these here. So now we're going to this is top. everybody at top. So it's telling me what this is recommending is that is this, where I should be original the marquee pairing of the day. I'm Miller Time and Mr. Thomas Angel. So yeah, you'll see in this video that this this will be second. I'd like to see the side part. See that that's it. Now we're going back to the This is just your posture. You do have a tendency to get a little bit slumped over, so let yourself back into that. It was two degrees on. It's not a huge deal. I know it. I can't see the ball from here. Yeah, because your glasses. Yeah, we're doing this. I get a little slumped over. That's okay. And I don't mind a little softness in the upper back. I'd rather see softness in the upper back where you curve a little bit than a big curve. So when you get the pelvis to kick forward, so let your belly go to the ball. So let your belly, let your lower body, let your back extend. Right? So, yeah. So, like, I don't want to see that. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't that's, know. So we want to make sure that's that stays yeah. exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't like that. that. We want to keep that nice and flat. I, like I, can, I can be a little more upright. I do I do mess around with that a little bit. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm I need to play more in practice more context. It's just balls right out my literal yeah. Like, it's and right then, out my glasses. Like, one buddy, Alex, he talks about getting the yeah. actor, but that's fine, too. Like, it all works. Yeah, I, 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 I see what you're saying. I, I like just a little bit. Like, okay, that so, makes sense. So, I mean, okay. you'll notice that you're going to have more, more curvature in the upper back. It feels, it feels like, comfortable to me. Yeah. I see you see the yeah. yeah. It's okay. Like, like I said, I'm just trying to let, I'm just trying to make it aware Like, it's okay to do these things. You can get away with some of these stuff. So. All like, right. This isn't, this isn't, this isn't, this isn't complete gone. So this is coming here. It's right here. There you go. There you go. There you go. So now this stays more underneath you to where the core is engaged. Motion, you're going to be here. Ah, okay, right. so it's giving. Okay, that makes sense. This is just trying to get you the less, less rotation because you over rotate like crazy. Gotcha. So now we're going back to the impact. Yeah, the less rotation with the hips. Okay. 
us is going to go pelvis move from the top again. So this is kind of where that pelvis sits more underneath you. So you might feel like you're more tucked with your pelvis here than you I can. To. I know what it's trying to get me to do. I can I can get to this position, yeah. but in my mind, this doesn't feel like a golf shot. This no. feels like a Monday. Yeah, that's fine. You should probably should hit more punches to get the legs more involved. That is 100% true. I saw your video. I saw your video. All right, what are we doing? That was going to be the top. Yeah, that was his impact. This is where your butt slides under. Yeah, right. I get that position. No, this is a posture, so again, this is a little taller. To the top. Good. There you go. A little bit more rotation, a little bit more bend from the upper back side here. There you go. Good. Now let's go side. Oh, that's right. I gotta get that feeling in there. Yeah. Okay. So it's like a big crunch from this Wait, side. Wait, can we go back to that one? Yeah. Can we do that one again from where we were? I'm lost that feeling as I did it. Okay. So, so again, we're just going up here, and what I look for in a 2D sense is this curve yep. that happened there. Your spine right here. There you go. So over there, boom. Now the club is more pointed at our target line. So again, now you're literally going to see this in your video. Your shoulders and your golf club kind of intersect with each other like a T. Okay. This is where you normally get it. So you get the club too straight. Okay. Right. So this is pointed directly, kind of over the over at the target, right? So this is pointed at the target here. Uh -huh. I want you to point this at the target line. Oh, I'm trying to point this at the target line. Yeah. I'm literally trying to come perfectly up to come this direction. Yep, I can so, come a little bit more this way. Yeah, you want to point this at the target line. Okay, that's good. I'd say it's parallel to this arc. No, that's okay. This is why we talk. This yeah. is why we communicate. This is yeah, I'm trying to get it. <laughs> why are your clubs so pointed at the target? Because I'm trying to get it. I'm trying, trying to do that. This is what you told me to do, right? Uh, I heard that it probably is what I told you to do. Yeah. All right. This is the pelvis at the top here, so a little bit less. Right there. Good. And this is more so so your pelvis gets into a really nice position here okay. because you'll have a tendency to get this too high. Right? Yeah. And that body starts to tilt, tilt more. Yeah. And that's where that's where things get a little high on it. So this is going back to impact. Good. I felt it right there. Now you're going back to the top with the bottom of the pelvis. So this is where the pelvis stays more underneath. Nice and tight. Now you should feel more with your legs. I'm getting the club back. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm not trying to get it over there. Okay, more higher. Gotcha. It's hard to. Good. It's hard to do it. Yeah. But I need to. So that feels natural too. Okay, because the, 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 this is literally like we did the same. The, 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 the twister applied magically. I'm so used to doing it. I get yeah. track. Yeah, I know that. That's like. Yeah. Once I you started. Know, you know these. Once I started already. to throw the club, I was like, I, I see the. I see the song. But I'm like, oh, okay. I'm like. If I imagine that this was just like trying to like, I'm like, okay, it's gotta like, I gotta get in that direction. Yeah. It's yeah. I'm like, yeah. so I'm like, yeah, I see it now. Yeah. All right, good rest. Love you. All right, love love body. There you go. That side body. So this feels more relaxed. This is okay. So it's relaxed a little. So it's, it, it feels, it, it, it feels more right, relaxed than it does upright. So again, if you go into your setup position, you go. All right, so we're going up to the top. No, I'm just, I'm just like that. Okay, so go up to the top one. So if I have a shaft extending from your hand, that should be pointed at the target one. That does make sense. So now it's going to the... I haven't been trying to do it. I've been trying to... I know. I'm trying to get it up here. So now when you increase the side body, I increase the side body. See that? Yeah. Now from here, all you have to do is literally unwind your arms and then get that impact position, right? Yeah. So then, as you keep rotating forward, the yeah. club is out there. Yeah. Right? Does that make sense? Yes, it does. What am I at? What, what am I doing? Uh, this is set up, body up, upper body at set up, so. Okay. Good. Upper body at top. Good. And then I'm Posture. Oh, uh, wait. Posture? Back, back to posture, yeah. Alright, where are we going now? Back to the impact, back to the top. This is tel pelvis at the top, so pelvis is moving at the top, pelvis position. Plus. Rotation with the upper body. Keep the pelvis there. Good. 
I'm starting to feel some separation in your body here. Mm -hmm. I'm getting very tight in my, my uh, abs and obliques. Love it, love it. Okay. Body turning into time for A little less. Much less. There you go. Good. Now it's going to go back to pelvis move to the top. This is again trying to keep your pelvis underneath you. Good. Pelvis moving impact. This is getting your pelvis underneath you again. Butt cheeks. Good. And now we're going to go upper body movement and dress. Good. Right there. Beautiful. Upper body at the top. Good, more side body, just a touch. There you go. Now we're gonna go posture again. Elvis in the top. There you go, love it. It's all right. Swing through. Good. There you go, a little bit. There you go. Good. Yeah, hit it. Different. Close. That was awesome, Ken. That was so good, Ken. That's a good one and right there, man. That's the shot. <laughs> so Nick Clearwater, who's the VP of training for Golf Tech, is talking on the Golf Science Podcast about this swing true study, and I'll put a link in the description below, which basically, after measuring, I think it's like 100,000 different golfer swings, uh, including professionals and amateurs, they found five or six basic key points that correlate to good ball striking or being a better golfer. And the follow through position that he's talking about, although his opinion is that it should be the first place where struggling golfers start, it just so coincidentally happens to be one of the last missing components from me best understanding how to move my body efficiently through the swing. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the k best in that lesson and the whole side of it. Everybody understands that in a golf swing, you're going to, you know, everyone understands that when you address the ball, you're bent over. One of the issues that I struggled with was getting enough side bend. This is one other thing to talk about in the study. So we've all seen the drill where, you know, you've probably seen Roy McElroy doing this one where, you know, he turns his shoulders and bends over sideways to address the ball. And this is what we would consider to be side bend. You start bent over, you got to bend and get your shoulders angled somewhere around the target line or whatever the case may be in order to get the ball, uh, in order to get to a good position with the club and to be able to hit the ground in the right place. Hands are leaning forward, hand are leaning forward the ball, still looking down at it, getting some good uh, rotation with the legs, pushing off on the right side. All the stuff you would expect to see in a good ball striker. Where I was losing the most crucial component was after that ball struck, I wasn't really focusing or thinking much about what the body was doing. It's like, you come down, you hit the shot, just finish the damn swing, you know? After you get back to impact, that same side bend still stays in. So you're literally reversing the same image. And this to me, is the thing that I didn't understand and I always tell Kurt. I'm like, dude, it looks like your shoulder is hitting over to your hip because this is a very unnatural feeling position for a right-handed player. Like, I feel like I'm so weird and contorted over and so twisted over, but this is one of the things that he's talking about uh, as you come into impact is that shoulder that you still have pointed down on the other side, that side of it has to stay in. And it feels like I'm looking at this camera, I'm looking at you, even though you hear my audio over here, it feels like I'm looking at you like I'm sleeping in a pillow. It's a very, very uncomfortable, very unforeign uh, position to be in. It's like everyone gets the impact, but then everybody always sees that beautiful image on TV. Does that look familiar to you? And it's literally no different than the silly teapot Tip me over and pour me out to the side. Congratulations. You take that teapot and pour them over to the side. Congratulations. You are now in post impact for a golf shot. Post impact, most golfers don't understand they need to be side bent in order to achieve the intended result. 
It makes no sense. It's not intuitive. If I were to give somebody a club, I wouldn't say, hey, turn over sideways if you're about to take a nap on an imaginary pillow and extend your arms, and that's how you get into a good post impact. And even as I'm doing this, I'm starting to sweat because, like, I'm a pretty flexible person, you know? I can get pretty flexible, but it's a lot of work, and it's a lot of stress on the obliques and the abdominals to get that much right side bend, but that's apparently what all great golfers do. Like, Tommy Fleetwood does, he just, he did, they just stay inside bend. Some players just stay here. It's just like, why not? Hit a little punch shot, and like, you get more comfortable staying in the bend. You don't early extend, your body and your hips get out of the way. Like, all of this stuff is simply fixed by understanding that you gotta stay bent in order to hit the ball well. Who would have thought? Thank you very much for taking time out of the day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Make sure you check me out next week. Deuces, people. Let's keep it moving.